lighting can have a huge impact on the look and feel of a room and really immerse you in what you're watching or even what you're playing. So you may have seen my video from a little while back where I kitted out my living room with Philips Hue smart lights, including their smart bulbs, light strips and go lamps. The ambient lighting made watching TV and movies much more immersive, but now I want to do something similar for my PC gaming setup, but also take it to the next level. So Philips Hue have teamed up with Razer to create a new Hue partnership. What that means is you can now sync your color capable smart lights with a range of Razer's Chroma enabled devices from their laptops to these peripherals. So it's really easy to create a color theme across your whole setup. But not only that, game devs can now integrate lighting effects into their games. But before we get into that, let me show you how to set this all up. All you need is a second gen Philips Hue bridge, that's this square one, some Hue color capable lights, the latest version of the Philips Hue app, and some Razer Chroma devices. So for my setup, I've got two Hugo lamps either side of my monitor, along with a light strip at the back of the desk. I've got another light strip over there behind a bookcase -y thing, but you could have any combination you like really. Maybe you could even put a light strip on the back of your monitor. It's up to you. Combine that with a bunch of Razer peripherals. I've got the Black Widow Chroma keyboard, the Basilisk mouse, and the Firefly mouse pad. Now let's sync up all the lighting. Open the Philips Hue app on your phone or tablet and create a new entertainment area. Select the room and then the specific Philips Hue lights you want to include. Then you get a virtual room map where you can position your lights relative to your chair and the monitor. So the software knows where all your lights are in relation to the room. Once you've done that, download and install the Razer Synapse 3 software on your PC. This also comes with the Hue and Chroma modules included. Once installed and it's found your Philips Hue bridge, you're good to go. That's it. You can start customizing everything from the full spectrum of RGB colors to the brightness, lighting patterns, and even match the colors on particular devices. There's loads of options to choose from. So that's pretty cool by itself. It's really easy to create a custom color theme across your whole setup, whether it's for working, playing games, watching movies, but that's only half the story because game developers can integrate lighting effects directly into their games. Overwatch is a great example. If you're new to the game, in the tutorial, specific keys light up on the keyboard, showing you what you need to press to help you learn faster. But the coolest part is on the hero selection menu, where each one of the characters have their own themed lighting preset. And while playing, activating your hero's abilities creates special lighting effects as well. And in my experience, I don't really find it distracting at all because you're concentrating on the game, so it's just a cool, ambient and immersive lighting effect in your peripheral vision. So Overwatch works well, but I think Quake Champions is even better. You get an orangey fire effect on the menu screens, and then in game, when you run over health or armor, it flashes blue or green. The lights also flash to match the color of the gun you pick up as well. So Overwatch and Quake Champions work really well and are examples of official integrations with the Philips Hue and Razer Chroma lighting partnership. There are only a limited number of games with this official integration at the moment, but it is a new feature and the library is growing. But you've also got third party integrations with games like CSGO, Dota 2 and Minecraft, which require a third party application, usually made by the developer community, to get the cool lighting effects. I think it's fair to say a lot of people think the world has gone RGB mad, especially when it comes to gaming setups. But once you sync all your lighting together, it can create some awesome color themes and provide a new level of spatial immersion when playing games. So if you want to find out more about any of this stuff, or even if you want to buy this setup for yourself, I've put links to everything you need in the description below, so go and check that out. A big thanks to Philips Hue for sponsoring this video, and let me know what you think of all this in the comments. Could you see yourself buying these sort of lights? Do you think it would add to that gaming immersive factor for you? Do let me know. Thank you very much for watching. Click that like and subscribe button if you want to see more setup videos from me, and I'll see you next time right here on The Tech Chat. Thanks for watching.